Hi, I got a Unibrew beer here. Blanche de Chambly. It's pretty much a traditional wheat beer brewed with coriander and orange peel, uh, 5%. But this is one of the few brewed in North America that is bottle conditioned. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. Elgash White is great, but in the summertime it seems a little bit too sweet for me. And this one is actually pretty darn cheap these days. You get a six pack for like under 10 bucks. So this bottle is a little old. It's a, it's a little bit over um, four months old, but the bottle conditioning will hopefully keep it more alive. Um, but the added flavorings might be a little more muted, but I mean, it's not, it's not a super hoppy beer, so I'm thinking it should be okay. And I got this wacky glass. Hopefully I can get a pour of uh, being all head. Yep, definitely has a nice natural carbonation. Um, you can see the bubbles coming up because Algash has natural carbonation, but it's not carb that high. This is kind of up there with, you know, imported Belgian in terms of intense carbonation from re-fermentation in the bottle, and that looks like a lot of your white beers, quite pale. Some white beers are even paler than that. And the head's looking really nice. You can see that crown on top of there. That is a sign of a very well brewed, very well bottle conditioned beer. And pretty equal parts orange and coriander. It's, it smells really juicy actually. Really nice orange peel notes in there. And I feel like there's gonna be a good amount of acidity. Maybe that's one thing that Algash is missing. It doesn't have much acidity going on. It's more about the soft um, feel from all the wheat. Yeah. It's not actually gonna be a sour, sour beer, but it's pretty close to smelling some actual like orange juice cocktail. And the yeast is giving just a little bit of a muskiness. Not too much though. I recently had a, the Mothership Wit, which was New Belgium's old uh, Belgian style wheat beer. that they brought back as a throwback. And that one is real musky smelling, but also really, really sharp. This one is, it has that a little bit of the musk, but, and maybe that's sort of from the wheat too. But it's not, it's not that almost savory and, and funky. It still smells really fresh and fruity. The coriander isn't super strong. It's just kind of supporting with a little, another layer of fruitiness. And giving a, a sort of peppery note. Mm. Oh yeah, makes your mouth water. But it's still, it's a little bit sweet, has the soft wheat body, could kind of soften the, the intensity of the acidity and the carbonation. Maybe you can see coming up there. Let's see if I can get a nice cool head going on with this one. Yeah. That is a very well-made beer right there. <laughs> Gonna be a little hard to drink it now. really good. It almost does taste like they actually put orange juice in this, but they just say orange peel. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of flavor in the, in the peel, as you know that. And it's not, there's very little hot bitterness, but there is an acidic bite and the bite of all the carbonation that dries out the sweet juiciness pretty well. And the coriander is giving you this, it's almost like a heat thing. It's not actually, you know, capsaicin heat, but this spicy earthiness that lingers a little bit. This is a really good beer. Mm. It's like a fluffy, fluffy feel from all the carbonation, but it's still a little bit silky. Though it's not, it's not, you know, thick and sweet and syrupy or anything like that.
Mm. Really well made beer. I'm gonna have to try more of the Unibrew beers though. A lot of their other one, their more popular other beers are stronger and sweeter and more malty, maltier. Um, this is just the kind of thing that I want to drink in the summertime. And I'm surprised by how much I'm liking this actually, because wit beers are like a pretty specific style, but they vary quite a bit in the feel and the sweetness and the acidity. And this is just balancing them all perfectly. I usually don't talk about that idea of balance because everyone kind of has a different idea of, of what balance works, but this might be one of my favorites. Especially in big part, really nice natural carbonation. Um, I think this style works best with natural carbonation. There are a couple um, smaller American brewers that do a really good, ver really great version of the style, but they're not naturally carved. So I would highly recommend this. This is a four point two five for beer. Beer for me, maybe even more. Awesome. Goodbye.